Oh. Don't let her walk without a helmet on now. Guys, do not tell Vito this. Some home DIY art. Um, oh, and a pigeon flying straight towards us. How nice is that for a morning view? Yeah, that's sick. Size of those dogs. I love toads and frogs. I love tortoises. I love cows. Don't you think cows are that animal that you kind of go, oh, they get bullied at school? Everyone's always like, when are you going to get a dog? When are you going to get a dog? Do you know what? I, I, I was thinking about it again last night. I'd rather have one pet cow than have a dog. Really? Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess you're right. What a pet cow. My granddad used to actually have a pet cow when he was when he was probably my age. Probably young, actually no, younger, way younger. When he was a kid, I think he had a pet cow. Did you meet the pet cow? Uh, no, I was not alive back then. When my granddad was like seven. Yeah. I don't think I was around. It doesn't work like that. No. Oh, the drip, drip, drippity, drip, drip, to drip. I'm showing, I'm showing off all your clothes. Look, these are all Diane's clothes Look. that she's acquired from all these boot sales already. Some are not from boot sales. I thought I had a lot of clothes. Then I met Diane. You have oh, so oops. many clothes. When we moved here, the amount of clothes that Diane was like, oh, do you know what, actually, I'm gonna get rid of. I was, there's a massive, there's probably like, how many bags? I just love, there was love probably about fashion. There's probably about six or seven boxes on the landing we moved in of, like, of clothes that you decided that you were also gonna give away to charity. And I was like, oh my God. Oh and God. you've still got all these. Just love. You know what? Before we have children, it's just going to be my outlet. But then, if we have children, I promise that I'll give them this room. <laughs> all the things, though, that you have in your wardrobe, there's one thing that if you ever do get rid of, I will have it. What? It's this. I really like this jacket. Oh, yeah, that is sick, the... isn't it? Yeah, it actually suits you so well. Without the hanger in the, in the you back. You look so hot in that. Yeah, it's like it makes you wider than I am long. That's what I like. I like clothes make me feel wider than I am longer. Gee Willikers, Batman. Gee <laughs> Willikers. Yeah? Yeah. And it kind of fits. It does fit. I would wear this. So if you do get rid of it. I've never washed it yet. I'm going to steal it. I've got eye bogies. <laughs> but good morning. Today is the first morning since probably this time last week where I've woke up and thought, I'm actually feeling good. I'm feeling all right. Hair is saying otherwise, but I'm feeling back to normal. What is going on with the lighting? Kind of like it, but I'm feeling good. Although what's not good is that I'm out of milk. But before I even have my breakfast, I need to move this. Um, as much as I like this being here, in the next sort of 15, 10, 15 minutes, we've got an, uh, uh, our, one of our first furniture arrivals turning up. It's just one piece of furniture, but it's a sideboard that's gonna go along this wall. Um, this, like I said, as nice as it is, it's a little bit too small. Um, and I'm not a fan, because we've got dark floors, well, darker floors here. I, this is a bit too dark. I think this is, this is originally from my office as well. And now that my desk is in my office, I need to start tidying up and sorting out this other area, uh, which includes putting this back in the office. Although I will possibly take one of these. Oh, she changed again. Yeah. Can I have this in my office, please? Yes, you may. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. When you look at this jacket, yeah. whose name does it scream? I got it from the strip for sale. Uh, if it's a girl, I know who it is. Boy. Ah, okay. Um, Johannes. No. Graziano. No. Neil. Neil it's Jones. Neil's jacket. It's actually Neil's jacket. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't know. Got from Strictly Sale. Neil. Neil. <laughs> and we all know he's a large. Oh, there we go. Oh, you've just, you've just, you've just given away Neil's shirt size. I know. Guys, if you're buying Neil a Christmas present this year or a birthday present, at least now you know what size to get him. <laughs> he's a large. I also found my brown belt. That's where I was looking for it. Which is my brown belt. No. <laughs> my brown belt, which I gave to you because it doesn't fit me because I'm a growing boy. I've been drinking my milk. Now, Diane must be in a good mood this morning because we only have two of these little sachets left of Athletic Greens. Um, comprehensive and convenient daily nutrition. Single use. The only two left and I said, oh, am I allowed one? She said, yeah, you can have them. Which is very kind because um, these are not cheap. Obviously, very anything very, very good for you probably isn't cheap. Um, so, mm. oh, that's cute. She's not riding a bike or anything, she's walking to work, but I don't <laughs> let her walk without a helmet on now, because I just don't trust it, because your shoelaces are always undone. Well, they're not today, not today, but I make her wear a helmet just to walk to work. 
<laughs> you never know. You... Oh my God. The camera don't do this justice, but that is a big piece of furniture. Hand to scale, ain't gonna work, but it's like that. It's massive. The guys who delivered it uh, said that it weighs 165 kg or 130, I can't remember, but either way, it's bloody heavy. Two of the guys lifted it in here as well. And luckily when I said, oh, I just need it here in the hallway, they were like, oh, thank goodness, because they've had some jobs this morning even. Bear in mind, it's not even, it's not even nine o'clock yet. They've had some jobs where um, they have stuff like this to carry up two flights of stairs to put it in people's houses. So I think this is a bit of a relief for them delivering this here. Right. Oh, more cardboard. Honestly, the amount, the amount of times that I've been back and forward to the recycling center over the last two months, uh, recycling cardboard is, is a joke. Wait a minute. I don't know if that's gonna stay how it is, but what a beautiful piece of furniture. My granddad, he was a carpenter, made, used to make pine furniture. Um, this, I don't believe is pine, but I tell you what, this would be chippy approved. He would look at that and go, cool, that's a nice bit of work done there. Lovely job. Although, the one thing he'd point out is that <laughs> This is not level. Why is that? That is quite annoying. That, that is lower down. Relatively level, that's, mm, no, it's that out. Bloody hell. That, who's cut that? I mean, that shouldn't be like that. This side's not as bad. It's still out, look, it's still not level. If food's not right in a restaurant, I'm that person that just sort of grins and bears it. I'm like, well, hey, it's the luck of the draw, I guess. Um, but when it comes to furniture that you've paid a, quite a lot of money for, I may have to send them an email and just say, look, the door's slightly out. Uh, can you either send a replacement door? I do not want to have to package this thing up and send it back because one, Good luck putting that box back together again to put it back in the box. And two, I feel bad for anyone having to come and collect this and take it away again because it weighs an absolute, well, 160 kgs. Would you, would you say something about that? Or would you just be like, look, it's just part of its character. Um, I don't know. What are you saying in the comments below? Or maybe is this one's too high? Could that come down a bit? It'd be all right. But either way, maybe the doors aren't aligned properly. I don't know. But now that I've noticed it, I can't now not notice it. It's one of those situations. Maybe that's how it's supposed to look, but if so, it's a bit of a design fault, I think. That can't be right. Um, but other than that, I mean, quality-wise, beautiful. Size, perfect for this space. It's got a bit of character to it. And it's like a lighter wood as well, which is the theme I wanted to sort of do with, with this house. Anywhere we have this sort of darker floor, I want to sort of lighten the spaces up still and make it still feel that perfect blend between modern, sort of contemporary, still bringing in a slight country feel. So with this panelling, uh, which at some point may be painted, all the walls are white walls, which is just like my London flat. Um, and it got to a point in the London flat where we're like, right, let's, let's inject a bit of colour. So we did paint one of the walls in the spare bedrooms. Um, we've not painted any walls here yet. At some point, I think we might get a painter in to change some colors, not drastically, but like I said before, make it feel that, that perfect blend between uh, modern and cozy country. Although this is slightly uh, Japandi, which is a new phrase I've learned, which is a mix between Japanese and Scandinavian. That's the kind of vibe. Japandi, countryside contemporary. That's my vibe.
I think. For now, anyway, it might all change tomorrow. Right, okay. To the dump, to the dump, to the dump, 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 to the dump, to the dump, to the dump, 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 to the dump, to the dump, to the dump, 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 to the dump, to the dump, 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 for the 300th time this week. Getting rid of enough cardboard to be used in a Mr. Beast video, probably. Done at the dump. No, not done. That was close. Okay, now we're all done and we can go home. Actually, before heading home, we're gonna do a quick pit stop at B&Q to find one of these and one of these. And what do I need that for? To make some home DIY art. We're going for uh, textured art. Um, I've seen a lot of this on things like Instagram. Um, I like doing, I love making art. I've actually got loads down there. We haven't actually got space yet in the new place to to hang it all up um, and a lot of it doesn't go with what we want in there and things like that but for this new spot above where we've got this new cabinet i want to put a piece of artwork here and do some textured art that's why i've got the polyfiller the pva glue um, <clears throat> i've got some various other tools as well lying around here that i'm going to use and create a nice textured sort of stony effect uh textured art piece and that's going to sit above that new sideboard unit um, and look nice and just finish that look off in the hallway. So when you walk in, you think, ah, oh, this, is, this, is, this is nice, this is cozy. And um, I've got this thing that in this new place, um, I would like 90% of the artwork to be done by myself. Because I love making art, and I don't do enough of it. And I think this will really help me get creative, get the creative juices flowing and actually make some stuff that I'm really proud of, that I'm proud of enough that it can go on the walls in our new house. My main worry is that it might not even stick to this wood. This is a different type of wood. I usually use MDF. I'm gonna see if I've got um, some wood primer that has a grit in it that's gonna make it more stickier and grittier and make it stick. If not, I might give it a, a coat of PVA glue first. We'll figure something out. But either way, I've got to make it so this is a bit less slippery. So my concoction of polyfiller and PVA glue is gonna sit on here nice. And maybe a bit of color in there. Do I put a bit of paint in there, a bit of acrylic paint? I'm not sure. We'll come to that when we get to it. But first of all, let's get started. But before I do get started, very, very important thing that I nearly missed out on, I've got to actually put this up here to see if it's actually gonna fit space-wise. Because looking at it now, that might actually be too small. But in a way, it's good because if, it, if that doesn't fit, it means that I can use this, use this as a tester. Because I've never tried this texture art before. So in a way, I'm kind of hoping this doesn't actually fit there and I can just test it out, try it, learn from my mistakes. And then when it comes to actually doing the real thing, I know exactly what I'm doing and where I can improve. And then I'll still decide that I hate it, uh, try again and still decide I hate it, try again, decide I still hate it, and just keep doing that over and over again, just like a real artist. And if I can't get that to work and I have a slight breakdown, then I've always got this as my backup. Not for above that space, but this right here is a piece that, <laughs> that I started doing when I first heard about the uh, the impending lockdown and all that kind of stuff, we're in such a time where I didn't really know what was going on, how long we stuck inside for, I decided to um, make an art piece, um, kind of depicting that whole time in a, in a weird way. So like, I, as soon as I started seeing it in the news and stuff, I collected newspaper articles um, all based around the pandemic and stuff and some of the headlines and stuff that was like crazy at the time to be reading. I thought this is quite, I feel like it's like significant moment in history. So I decided to collect those, paste them onto a, a big board. Um, and eventually I left like that for years. And then more recently I decided to uh, do the stencil. Um, it was quite, a, I feel like it was quite a iconic image at the time of two people kissing with masks on. I've got to point out as well, these masks are not finished yet. That's the base layer gone on. I've got to coat over this in different shades of white and cream and stuff um, to make that look more standy outy masky. But it's a little bit, tiny, teeny, tiny bit Banksy inspired with obviously, obviously the stencil work. Um, but then I've really, I mean, in a way, Mr. Brainwashed it, which is ironic, um, and absolutely plastered it in bright, colorful paint um, and then I got my air, then I got my, um, air gun out, air gun, is that what it's called? Spread air, sp uh, air, oh my God, what's it called? The air gun thingy, not a blowtorch, oh my God, spray, 
paint sprayer. Oh my God, I'm stupid. Um, but I got whatever that thing is and did these little hearts all over it. I've still got to sign it, but more importantly, it's technically a mixed media piece, but we've got bits like this happening. Now what I'm thinking, and this is where I need anyone who does art, because I quite like this and Diane loves it and wants it sort of eventually framed and up on this bit of uh, wall here. But I need some advice. I initially wanted to flatten it all down by putting a coat of resin on it. Now I've never worked with resin before in my life. I know, sorry, I have, but very like quick drying resin for like making sculptures and stuff, which is completely different. I've heard from proper artists that it's a, a massive pain to get involved with, to start trying to resin stuff like this down. So what I'm thinking is, do I put a layer of PVA glue over the top of it? It will then make it shiny, which I'm not too happy about. I'd rather try and encase it and make it still matte, a matte finish to it. I mean, eventually I want, want to do is take that, I want, I want to basically encase it all so we haven't got any of this kind of stuff happening. And then I want to take it to a framers and get it, get it framed um, and then put it up on the wall. Artists, let me know, how am I sealing down this newspaper so it just goes tight and nice and we'll sort of preserve it and make it the best it can be. Right, I've taken a break from doing the, uh, the art piece to go to the bakery, the nursery slash garden centre. And you know I'm here to check this out. Ah, they're still here. Absolute beauties being guarded by the uh, tiger one day. Not yet, but one day I'm gonna have some olive trees like that. Check these out. Tree ferns, they're not planted into anything, but they look wicked. Very alien-like, very prehistoric, Jurassic Park vibes. Also, what I'm looking for is one of these, a nice big Acer to plant in this uh, metallic galvanized um, barrel that I have. Uh, this would be ideal. How much are we saying? <laughs> Why is it so expensive for a plant? decided I'm going to settle for one of these today, which is a Ficus brown twiggy climber. Um, because at the front of our place, I want some lovely plants and trees to climb up the front of the house. Uh, but also with the added bonus of bearing us fruit that Diane can put on our toast in the morning. So fig tree, you come with me. Fingers crossed, how's it gonna look on the wall? Watching that back, I feel like that might be a little bit small. Diane's on her way home though, so I'm going to light that candle on the side top and then I'm gonna surprise her with the new piece of furniture and see what she thinks. And I feel like she's in one of those moods where she's gonna be very, very honest. If she don't like it, she ain't gonna like it. Oh, but also, I've got this bad boy as well. So I've got an outdoor fig tree. Um, from the garden center, which is gonna grow up the side of the house, hopefully, and produce some lovely figs on it. This one is more of an indoor, the indoor plant version. All right, fig tree, what's your name and where'd you come from? Ficus, oh, there's a spider there. Uh, Ficus Irata. Is that in the right place? It's getting reasonable amount of sunlight here. I feel like that's gonna be fine, you know? I've just gotta put some stones in the bottom because that's not got a hole in, so I've got to put some like gravel or something in the bottom. Um, so when I water it, it drains out and doesn't get root rot. But we need a name for said fig tree or ficus, whatever it's called, ficus tyrannosaurus, whatever it's called. I'm not good with the Latin names, but what I am good with is searching through the comments, looking for a name for this bad boy. Leave your suggestions down in the comments. Oh, thank you. PVA glue, quick bit on there first. So when I put the polyfiller on, dump it on, it's gonna work. Do I need something underneath here? Probably. Probably shouldn't let polyfiller just fall onto the floor. Ah, that's a problem. 
okay, that's better. Although, <sighs> this girl leaves her hair everywhere. To the point where I might start doing giveaways. If you want a strand of, nah, that's a bit weird, isn't it? No, I'm not doing that. That's already oddly satisfying. We just want a rough bit on there, just so it's got a little bit of something extra stick to it. I mean, the filler, whoops. Oh dear. So this could be one big fail. I'm putting it out there, this could be a fail. But hopefully, it's a winner. We'll let that dry for a bit. Whilst I try and scoop this PVA glue off the floor. Now I'm gonna make a prediction whilst I just put PVA glue in my fringe. Mm. Um, I think I've not got enough poly filler. I've just looked at the tub of poly filler and looking at this board here. I don't want it too thick on there anyway. But I think that I have not got enough. But there's only one way to find out. And in the words of uh, Super Mario, off we go. So far, it's come up better than I thought it would. I just had a little idea though. Might be stupid, but. Do we hide Diane's hair inside the painting? Back in the old days when they used to um, plaster walls, they used to actually put horse's hair. I'm not calling Diane a horse before you say anything, but back in the day, they used to put, cut horse's hair and put horse's hair in with the plaster to make the plaster extra strong. And that is where we got to. Um, I'm now gonna let this dry as it is. I, I mean, I don't know. I still don't know if it's gonna work. Hey, look, it's good to practice this stuff, see if it works. Um, and yeah, I'm about as pleased as I thought I could be with this. We'll see what Diane says. I think she'll like it. Especially if she knows she's got some of her own hair in it, that's for sure. Oh, she's back from work. And open your eyes. Ooh. Don't touch it! Ooh. Don't touch it! Don't touch it! Oh, that's cool! It's a textured piece of artwork. Oh, are you gonna then colour it all? Different colours? Well, no. No? I thought it might just like that for now. Maybe I should... Well, what if I was gonna do that, I should have mixed whatever this, this poly filler with a colour. But I could always yeah. go over it with something. I could try... I mean, I'm, I'm exper very much experimenting that's here. That's cool, though. I like it. Yeah? Yeah, I do. Yeah? Yeah, I think it's cool. There's a little surprise inside there as well. Inside it? Yeah. What do you mean? There's a bit of your hair in there. Is there? I found a clump of your hair in this tarpaulin. Oh, and I no. thought, oh, and I, I, it I caked it inside. So technically there's a piece of you now inside this art. Ah. Oh. Yeah. And I signed it down here, look. JS23. Oh, it's very cool. But I thought it's just a bit, it's like textured. I like saying the word texture. Yeah, I like but it. But it just it gives it more of a, something a bit different. Yeah, I really like it. It's very cool. Yeah. It can go above our new bit of furniture. Ooh. Yeah. Is it nice? Come and have a look. Keep your eyes closed. Yeah. Keep that helmet on as well, just in case. <laughs> Keep that helmet on. And in three, two, one, open your eyes. Oh, I love it. How cool is that? Yeah, that's beautiful. And that's why I said that piece of artwork, maybe oh, above there. Yeah. And look, we've got a new. Ooh, did you buy that today? Yep. Beautiful. Joey. Hasn't got a name yet, but it's a fig tree. Yeah, that's so nice. Happy with it? Yeah, lovely. Dinner was magnifique. Uh, but for pudding, I've got these. So my mum called in earlier and brought around this. Three bits of chocolate cake. Although, where's where's that gone? You also still have Vito's cake. I mean, do you think it tasted a bit eggy? Well, it's made out of egg and chocolate. I know, but did you think it tasted just that little bit too eggy? No, well, I didn't, but now that you say it, Look, I've been, look. Can I just say, like, I have been, look, that's all been all me, I feel like. I've been, look. 
I've eaten half that cake. I've eaten half that cake. And let me tell you. What? That it does taste a little bit eggy, yeah. Yeah, it does. Right. It does. A little, bit, little bit eggy. Just a little bit. A little bit eggy. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I'm going to do the taste test. Vito versus uh, my mama. Vito's cake. No offense, Vito. Oh. The healthy cake. Hang on. <laughs> It doesn't taste eggy. It's just, it's got a, um, cause egg white. But when you think about egg, you can, it makes the consistency of that cake. You go, yeah, it's got a bit of an omelet feel to it. Yes. Like an omelet consistency slightly. It's very dense, a dense cake. Whereas mummy dearests, do you know what? Already this is a winner. Don't, right guys, do not tell Vito this. Wow. It's, I mean, my mum made it, so of course it's a winner. That is a cake. Let me tell you, Vito, we still have egg yolk in the fridge. <laughs> oh, I wonder what that was. Egg yolk. I thought it was like um, orange juice. What time of probably, night probably worse than your kefir. Oh, speaking of the devil, Jesus, she's got it out. No! Why does it leave like a, a poo stain on the <laughs> rag though? It's like it farts. I only had a little bit in this. It smells like alcohol, like fermented beer. Yeah, it is. That's what it's like. So this is now, the stuff you're pouring in is like the stuff you can drink now? Yeah. What about the silt at the, back, the bottom of that? They're my babies. Oh, that stays there? Yeah. What happens, what happens when that starts to grow bigger than the pot though? Well, eventually it probably will, you know. Then what? We can have to move house again. Then... Why did you move house again? Well, because our kefir baby just got too big for the house. So we had to move. It's taking over. Look. Where have we gone, Norvin? No, 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 no. That smells like when you're 16 and you first start drinking. When you're 18 and you first start drinking. Um, and you... It's like the smell of like the bottom of like a bottle of beer. It's actually not too bad. Oh, now you put up my nose! Sorry. Ah! Right. Oh, so that then takes all the goodness out of the drink. And it takes, it feeds off the sugar in this. Oh, so you're feed, that's feeding it. I'm feeding it. So we technically have a pet. We, yeah, actually, it is my pet. We have our first pet. And do you know what? Less maintenance than a dog. And it doesn't um, shit everywhere. It just farts on that rag. <laughs> you don't have to take it for walks. Ready for a drink tomorrow. Wow. I have it every day. And that's why I could feel like I haven't got your illness. Yeah, true actually. Diane didn't never caught what I've got. Well anyway, whilst you deal with your kefir stuff, really? oh, I'm gonna go check on my art and see if it's dried. And it's still not quite dry yet. It's gonna oh and I've oh no, look what I've done. It's still not dry yet, but I'm gonna leave it overnight and see what happens. But something that I did think might happen and is kind of happening, which I'm also sure a lot of the people watching this vlog have been screaming at their screens going, Joe, we could have told you this was going to happen. And it has. The wood has started to bow. I'm guessing un when, it ha when it comes in contact with anything that's like semi-liquid, it starts to bow the wood, which is not ideal. If I try to straighten it out, it's going to crack what's on top. So, hey, look, this is why we test these things. Oh. Office-wise, it's still an absolute mess. That's gonna be on my job, my list of tasks to do tomorrow. We are slowly getting there though. In saying that, talking about all this like room stuff and furniture and this kind of thing, um, I've had a few comments in across the vlogs that I've been putting out recently saying like, Joe, when is a house tour? Um, very, very exciting stuff. Uh, just for the people that aren't aware, um, unfortunately, I am not that sort of person that provides house tours. I know there's a lot of YouTubers out there that do do the whole house tour thing and you know, they open the door, welcome to my crib, now get out of here and all that kind of stuff and take you through room by room. But that's just not ever been something that, that I've felt comfortable doing um, on YouTube. In saying that though, you do obviously see bits of it and bits that you want to share um, in, in vlogs and in videos and stuff like that. I mean, naturally it's gonna happen. It's gonna, it, as the vlogs go on, and the more books you put out, obviously we're gonna have new bits and share bits 
um, that we feel comfortable with, but, uh, but you know, we've just moved in. We still have lots of little bits and bobs that we want to do here and little things that we want to sort of change and put our, our tastes and our, our um, style on it. Um, like the previous house and uh, my London flat before that, uh, and even, I think even me and Casper's, I know Casper did an uh, apartment tour, but I don't, I didn't do one. Um, it's never been my thing. So, um, so yeah, don't get excited for that. <laughs> uh, but do get excited for more vlogs. And I guess like in time, us sort of, I guess like sharing little bits that we, we feel like we want to share and, um, and stuff like that. So hopefully I haven't ruined your evening. But anyway, I am gonna call it a night there. I've got an early start tomorrow because tomorrow is also a final straw day, which is a day where I work on the production company. Um, but I have got deliveries arriving tomorrow as well. So I'm gonna be sort of in online. I'm, I'm W, I'm W, F H. I'm W F Hing tomorrow, working from homings. Um, people do say they like the sort of more at homey, sort of non going out and doing things for the sake of the vlog type vlogs which I do appreciate because at the moment, that is definitely my style. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Please give this video a like and also a comment. Um, it doesn't go unnoticed. I try and reply to as many as I can. Um, I'm loving reading through your comments. I'm loving um, seeing the feedback that I'm getting on the vlogs and the, the comments and the things. Even like all the comments that I had about the Sug Life merch in the last vlog. Um, it's so lovely to go through and read all that stuff. So thank you to everyone that leaves a comment. Thank you to everyone that leaves a thumbs up on the vlog and also thank you to anyone who has recently subscribed i mean obviously thanks to everyone that subscribed back in the day and are still watching um but also thank you to any new subscribers that are coming along as well um really appreciate you take care and i'll see you again hopefully tomorrow but i'm not not daily vlogger so who knows